So what's on our minds? What else? Gas, right? And with gas prices above four dollars, we're all searching for ways to cut back. One man in Sugar Grove came up with a perfect invention, a car that runs on batteries and it can go hundreds of miles. Joining us this morning is Greg Zonis. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, how are you? Great, thanks. We're wondering how'd you come up with that pyramid design that you're driving around? Well, I've wanted to build this car ever since I was four or five years old and finally the technology has caught up with what I've been wanting to do. All right, so how does it work, Greg? How do you get 240 miles on one charge? Is this Chris? Uh, what we do is we're running a 48-volt system, and each motor runs on a four-pack of batteries. And when that four-pack of batteries goes 65 miles, then it switches over to another four-pack, and uh, we have 80 batteries in there and can do that continually. We're, we know it goes 240 miles on a charge, that's how far we've tested it, but we believe it'll go 500 or 1,000 on the next car with no problem. Now we should tell people that's your son driving the car right now. You can get 240 miles, one charge, can you just plug it into a regular electric outlet? Yeah, we just have a cord that pulls out of the back, and uh, instead of being uh, 220, it's 110, it has several chargers on board. And uh, that, that particular cord divides up inside and goes into the, all the chargers. But now, you, you, I'm sorry, you have lead-acid batteries inside there, which, of course, is an older technology. Could this work just as well with nickel metal hydride or lithium-ion batteries? Yeah, it would work wonderful with those, but I want to keep expenses down and come out with a practical car that's something that people understand. Mm -hmm. And, in fact, you're working on an upgrade model of this car. Is that what's in your garage right now? Um, in the garage is our first car. This is our second car, and at the weld shop, we're getting ready to build our third car, which will be an upgrade model. Now, we understand that you had some offers to go to California to work on this more, but you're committed to, you're committed to staying in the Chicago area. Why is that? Uh, the high-tech corridor gets enough publicity. We need to do this right here. We, we need jobs here in Illinois. Hopefully, in the next year or so, I'm going to be building one a month, and I have a five-year business plan where I'll be building a hundred a year after that, a thousand a year after that, and ten thousand a year in five years. Now, what hmm. kind of price range are we talking about? Any kind of ballpark idea? Yeah, it's costing us eight thousand dollars a piece to build these cars, mm -hmm. and we're uh, hoping to market them from sixteen to twenty-four thousand, whatever the market will bear. Mm -hmm. So, Greg, are, are they all going to look like that, or is it going? Are we going to see something a little more conventional on the road? No, we're we're very set on the shape. It's it's also a very safe car. It's built with 12-inch I-beams all the way around in order to take on any kind of a crash. So yeah, we we like this spaceship kind of feel to it. And how how fast can it go? This one only goes 45 miles an hour. Our next one will go 200 miles an hour. Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Well, Greg, uh, all the best with that. Thanks a lot. Right, Greg, we're, we're, we're really excited, of course. Congratulations. The inventor of the pyramid-shaped electric car. Wow. <laughs> the 200 mile per hour pyramid headed yeah. for you. That's, that's, right. Right. that's something. Congratulations. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, Greg. And if you'd like Bye. more information, we'll uh, link his website to our website, cbs2chicago.com.